Brian was not an easy child. <laughs> okay? Didn't like to conform. Uh, Brian didn't particularly like to play by the rules. Okay? And then about six years ago, all of a sudden, everything changed. We were looking at each other going, this is Brian. This is not, this is not the Brian we know. <laughs> this was like a yin and yang, where he was strong, she was weak, where she is strong, he is weak. All right? He needs, he needs her, and he believes in what she says. I'm happy for you, Brian. I'm really thrilled for you, but more importantly, Jen, thank you so much. <laughs> for changing my boy, all right, and make him into something we can really be proud of. So there's a verse in the Bible in Ecclesiastes that gets a lot of play at weddings. In it, it describes that a cord made of two strands is stronger than one strand by itself, but a strand made of three cords into a braid is the strongest. So obviously two of the strands are you two, but what's the third strand? Many say it's God, but I'm a firm believer that God is the one braiding the strand. The third strand is this true love that he has blessed you with right now. This type of love is selfless love. It's the kind of love that causes you to lay down your life for each other. The kind of love that says, I will be there through storms, the trials, the fun, the beauty, the joy, and the mess. Two people becoming one entity bound by love means the individual must let go of selfishness and put that unity first. That it's the image and symbol of the three braid strand and what it creates. I think I've been with you for so many years. I've seen you through different phases of your life. And I don't think I've ever seen you as happy as you have the last two years. But honestly, I know a lot of it has to do because of you, Brian. You've given her everything she's needed to turn into this person and to love you back. I see both of you. And I feel that you really know each other and love each other for who you really are. You both have such an amazing partnership that is centered in respect, communication, and honesty. You will inspire and encourage each other at all moments. There is no doubt in my mind you will continue to make each other happy. Jen is amazing. <laughs> she, is, she has changed Brian. In, a, in, a, in such a positive manner, you know, because Brian is like, you know, he's an acquired taste. <laughs> uh, you know, and for Jen to stick around and to be there by his <laughs> side, you know, shows us the love of a good woman. Take this all in, you guys. Just remember the faces of the people you most deeply care for who are sitting here to watch you guys get married. Look at the smiles, look at the tears, the joy, and feel the love that is surrounding us all right now. This is for Mom. It seems absurd to me that I am not standing here giving this speech myself. I guess it is yet another reminder of how things in life don't always go the way that we expect them to, the way that we plan them to, the way that we want them to. And yet, out of flame, out of the smoke and debris of our lives, surprises and unexpected occurs. Beauty. That insummation is how I recognize the relationship I have come to know between Brian and Jen. I cannot find a path in my mind that would say that either of them ever for a single moment anticipated or imagined anything remotely close to one another as their partner in their journey that we call life. And yet, here is the beauty of it all. Here they are, and here they have been, and it seems we cannot recall either of them as singular souls. That is beautiful, and that is love, and that is truly something being greater than the sum of all parts. Brian, 
Do you take Jenny to be your lawfully wedded spouse? I do. Do you promise to love and to protect her, honor and respect her, keep her in sickness and in health, through the good times and through the bad, forsaking all others and be faithful to her? If so, please answer I do. Always, I do. Do you Wait. take Brian to be your lawfully wedded spouse? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 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 <laughs> do you promise to love and protect sure. him honor and respect him keep him in sickness and in health through the good times and through the bad forsaking all others and be faithful to him if so answer I do I do day that God has made for you two. Your two paths have officially become one, and you will travel this path for the rest of your days on earth. From this moment on, you are husband and wife, united in marriage. You two have officially become one. Oh, Brian, you may now smooch your bride like you've never smooched her before. Smooch her like there's no tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian, Mr. and Mrs. Brian and Jenny Owens.